But our our team, our team that we do not know. This will be it. It's Silas, the Red Protoss. His friend on the left will be Rave, the Blue Zerg, and his teal friend, his teal friend, will be Captain Solo. But we do not see any Wookiees around. We do not see any any Java, any people shooting here and there. But on the top right, we'll have our friend and. I don't even know if I would consider him a friend because he, like, ruined my day and made my day at the same time the last time I cast it, and he is lifting up his command center. <sighs> so we do have that coming from our, our yellow Terran player, and the purple Terran player, Mr. Elvor, is doing the same thing, and it looks like they might be landing in the Protoss' base. Our Protoss, who looks to be in a very bad position very soon, will be Mr. Bobby. And that could be Bobby from anything. That could be Bobby from... Uh, what am I thinking of? King of the Hill. That could be Bobby from... Why are they walling off? Well, they're walling off against a, one Zerd, a Protoss, and another Protoss. I don't suggest that in the least bit, but... Protoss is just probably, probably a bit confused. It looks like they will all be mining from the same base now. Not something that I really, really agree upon. But, hey, maybe they have something going here. I know that the other two, or that the other team will definitely be confused. Going for a two-gate here. Going for a forge and a gateway here. I don't see why. And this, this Zerd is going for the good old 14-14 without making any drones afterwards. Maybe actually going for a 10 pool now that I think of it. I did not see those. I thought those were drones in production. But no, going for 14-14. Going for a wall off over here. Going for no production buildings whatsoever except for one gateway. And walls are nice if you can shoot over them at your Zergling and Zealot aggressors. But when there's literally nothing there. And the, the Protoss is at a lot of minerals. Are they just feeding him? They are just feeding the Protoss minerals, it looks like. So the Protoss queues up five Zealots. The Protoss doesn't make more gateways. He doesn't start getting gas, even though his friends seem to have gotten gas for him. He just, uh, he, he, he just queued up three Zealots now. Instead, saving the other minerals for a later time. I'm not sure why he's holding off at all. This is a very awkward strat, though. These could have been could be feeding him more minerals from the start if they were just at their respective bases, but I guess they didn't feel safe enough. Now throwing down some engineering bays, both of them at the same time. If they made planetaries, I might just quit casting from the beginning or from from that point on rather. Uh, still, still just some queued up zealots. Definitely has way more than enough minerals, and we will be seeing gas here soon. I would assume from our friends. But uh, definitely would like to see a cyber core set down here. And is that what this probe will do? Come on. Come on. You can do it. Throws down a forge? No. Throws down a cyber core. And I'm going to assume that he was clicking on all of those things. Definitely want to learn the hotkeys. Robotics for our red Protoss. We have three gateways with chronoed out. Just, just sell it. You know, just sell it. From Mr. Solo. I believe that Solo was known for his pistol and his lasers and StarCraft in general. So I'm pretty sure in StarCraft there was a lot of a lot of blasters that you could see on Stalkers now. Yes, there were Jedi, but not dual wielding Jedi with side blades. The Zerd staying on one base at five minutes, you know, he seems pretty cool. And he has a Roach Warren, Zerdling Speed on the way. Desolation and Elvor calling out the good luck have fun about five or six minutes way too late but you know you know they have a plan that is meta gaming right there getting the ranged upgrade for the planetaries just to be extra safe i i don't understand what's going on here in the least bit a warp prism has started and he'll fly that over here somewhere probably or over here probably didn't go for the edge bases and he'll just be confused there's nothing else to that. They could have even have flown to the island, and that would have been perfect. But no. I mean, okay, he could have flown his base through here, down the center, into this island even. I would have been okay with that, sort of. 
but instead going to be mining from the same base. And he only has one harvester for some reason. The other one's too far away to be registered on this here uh, planetary. Just uh, just more gateways being thrown down. Yep. I don't know why they're saving up so much gas. They do not need these upgrades, really. But hey, maybe they know something I don't. Uh, no, no real units, though, from Protoss. He's still on 15 supply. You guys gave your minerals to the wrong person. That's for dang sure. I, I would hope that he's doing something. What is Protoss even doing right now? Bobby. Bobby's setting down a pylon, moving his screen around. We are in the eyes of Bobby. We will see see what he sees. He's probably confused, but he needs to be doing something here. Instead, he, he he's just looking at his... He has his building selected, and he mates four zealots. Stalkers are uncalled for when you have no gas because his friends do not want to share that gas, apparently. That is a bit of an issue. And we see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of zealots, a lot of lanes and roaches. They could really take out anybody, but can they take out the combined effort of this group of zealots and a wall? I don't think that they can. If they just, like, lowered this wall and allowed their Protoss to die, that would be terrible, but I kind of see that happening, actually. And they just ran in this base and found nothing. They will find supply depots up here of two different colors and then a wall of zealots behind that. So I think they they will be just a little bit afraid. These lanes are running to the natural. They're going to run back here probably. They're going to see absolutely nothing. Protoss over here not helping his team at all. Or wait, no, that is the red Protoss not helping his team at all. Uh, has five gateways, a robo, and a making another gateway off of one base. I do not agree with that. But he has gotten inside of the of the triple base over here. But repair, repair is a wonderful thing. Look, all of these units will be cleaned up just from that, just from that planetary fortress alone. The planetary will have seven kills momentarily. And over here, the Reapers have gotten into the bunker. Two more are on the low ground. Would have liked to have seen them get in here instead of an SCV being over here. But instead, if he just like pulled these zealots up here with these zealots, oh, why would you take that engagement? There's obviously more zealots and there's just the Reapers up top. There they go, pulling them back, and they will actually hold against this very, very easily. The Zealots going against Zealots, Lane's getting in there for hits here and there, but not doing too, too very much. The Red Protoss trying to warp in more units, but this Planetary is going to have the same as that situation happening again. SCV's already in position to deal with this. The only casualty here might be the Double Reaper producing Barracks. But over here, the Zealots are actually cleaned up and only two roaches remain but there are two reapers in this bunker and another one goes in those reapers could go over here and kill that roach but instead nothing's gonna happen this planetary this planetary is a hero he does have nine kills now one sent or one stalker being warped into that or sent into that that warp prison that's the word i'm looking for and Reaper's in the main base of Red. He doesn't have too much warp in here, but Stalkers can defend against a decent amount of Reapers. The Stalker over here being cleaned up. This Planetary Fortress has 16 kills. This one has none. We can see who the player that is carrying tonight is Desolation. He will be our MVP of this game so far, especially when the Protoss has no gas whatsoever. It has not expanded, and... I, like, why aren't you guys sending him your gas? At the very least, you could be doing that. Could be polite to the guy. You are probably ruined his day. He doesn't know what's going on. Uh, Roach Hydra at 12 minutes off of one base from our Zerg opponent. That is when you know things are going well for him. He is on one gas while doing all of this. Gotten no upgrades. Hasn't gotten second gas. Could have easily have taken an expansion. So that that showing his bronze lead skills very quickly. The base for Protoss is up at the high yield, but he is oversaturated at his main. And not really doing anything with this. Got the geysers, putting up cannons. Not uh, not caring too much about the rest of the game. There are so many zealots on the map, though. A total of 12 for our, pro our orange Protoss, and that's the Protoss we really care about. These Reapers will get a kill, and then they will run straight into Roach Hydra. <coughs> Excuse me. 
these zealots need to just engage this. They have no reason to run away. Those, those. I think hydralists are actually faster now. No, on creep they do have the same movement speed. Uh, that is a lot of reapers. That is six reapers over here. Just for purple alone, two are in the bunker. That is not the place you want to be engaging that, though. Do you want to warp in some more zealots? You have the warp-ins available. You are on four gates when you have 800 minerals saved up. Not the place you want to be. Four reapers are in this bunker, though. They will kill any. There they go, just destroying the zealots that come up to the wall. I would like to see a repair here soon. That bunker will go down very quickly. More zealots being warped in. The Roach Hydra army tearing apart these zealots, but even if they get into the main base, they have to work through two planetaries, and one of them has, has seen battle before already. Uh, it's it's looking pretty tight, though. I don't know. This bunker has been filled up, though, but it looks like it's going to go down very, very quickly. All the zealots from Orange have been cleaned up, making another command center. That's not going to work. Please don't run them straight into the planetary. It looks like that's what he's going to do. This zealot being the first sacrifice. My life for ire, indeed. Ah, uh, this is... What is going on here? In, in, in the production tab, we see Void Rays. Void Rays being made from our Teal player. He does have three of them on the way, and Planetaries cannot shoot up. These Reapers doing a surprising amount of damage. The Planetaries, though, killing all of the Zerglings. And I don't know... I don't know how how our how our trio of... of... I don't know. They're a trio. I don't. I don't have a title for them just yet. I don't know how they're going to fare against this money void rays and this this army in general, taking out all of Protoss's production. These these zealots though, they're just gonna take out a missile turret, and instead now they're all going to die to reapers possibly. Not worrying too much about the five hydralists that are just destroying buildings and buildings, for for the Protoss and now the Terran. As soon as they start hitting that barracks though, that planetary fortress did get very upset very quickly. And yeah, he could just go behind the mineral line. Actually, some good moves by the Zerg. He can just kill all of these workers back here. Instead, he's just going to keep moving. There they go. The Reapers could kill possibly one Hydralist. I don't see them doing more than that. Did get the kill on the Roach. All the SCVs are getting pulled back. Now the probes go into work. They will start doing damage, actually taking down that Hydra's very quickly once they all started hitting it. Reaper's coming in here to do the extra damage. There is an expansion on the field. Teal is taking a third base. He knows how to macro. He knows how to mass Void Rays even though... Does he have the plus one attack? He is starting plus one armor instead of plus one attack. Maybe thinking that those missile turbs will be very strong. They do have two attacks. So getting that armor reduces the damage by two instead of one. Very nice. But they do have eight range due to the, due to the engineering bay upgrade. I don't, don't really see, see I didn't see either game working out for our, for our friends Elvor and Desolation that I've casted before, so they have to have some way of coming back from this, I just see it happening, I see those, those Void Rays just straight focusing down a mis missile turret and being, and then having it mass repaired, and Protoss just not doing anything about it. Uh, but there are two Protosses on the map and they are both massing Void Rays. Or two of the Protosses that are not orange. And that base going down very quickly, not being repaired. Flying into a missile turret, does lose one void ray, flies into two missile turrets actually. Losing two void rays to two missile turrets, not the way to use your, your investment. That was a very bad trade. What he is going to take out the rest of these buildings, this, S, or this will be a fully loaded command center, not even a planetary. Flying away to greener pastures. The space that the high yield has been taken, we might speed this up just a bit. Two hatcheries being taken for Zerd, only one of them being an actual base. He does have 2,000 minerals, and he has been on one base since the beginning of the game. These Void Rays just killing things, just trying to do whatever damage they can. They will take out the rest of the Protoss's everything. So Protoss will have to start from ground zero. He will have warp gate research, but that's about it. Other than that, taking some more missile turrets hit hits and over here we have the reapers hold on those reapers doing doing work sort of not really they could take a few pro kills here the stalkers not being told to respond if the reaper reapers move any closer though the stalkers will start hitting them and there they go oh does get quite a few kills there though and the units lost well bobby left bobby got his base and left so they do, they do make the smart choice of sending his probes to work. 
is very helpful because those those minerals will be split between our two Terrans. But the Terrans don't have much to deal with anything here. You take out one Hydralis and the Reapers will be very annoying. And there's more Void Rays over here. Other than that, they are they're actually they are at eleven SCVs and four SCVs. Three of or two of those on gas. And ten probes. And they'll just be making probes out of here together with their combined minerals. Roach Hydra over here. A mass, mass, mass of void rays. Do have a total of 15 on the field for teal and 10, 11 for our red Protoss. Uh, I don't see, I don't see how they come back from this one. They've done some weird things. They've had people just straight up leave. So if they have another one of those matches, I'm going to be done casting their matches just for the sake of my, of my sanity when it comes to StarCraft. Teal is floating so, so many minerals and not making... I mean, he's making more Void Rays, getting those upgrades. He's getting a Twilight Council. You need the Fleet Beacon for the higher level upgrades, unless you're going straight Shield upgrades. Which he does have 1-1, one, one, getting that attack upgrade finally. And the Planetary cannot shoot up, just being melted away. Those Void Rays doing 16 damage to Armored when they have that bonus going. If we saw a Master Repair here actually being used, this might be good, but it looks like... He might lose one or two Void Rays in all of this. Or four. But... But it won't be enough. You might actually lose another one over here. And there it goes. So he did lose five Void Rays to take out the entire base of our Terran players. This will be their last hope over here. And I don't see that going too well for them once the Void Rays find them. Everything being taken out. He is down to ten Void Rays over here. But ten more have count come from the Red Player. If you have two armies of mass Void Rays, there's not really much you can do against that. Especially when you have Hydras on the ground. And you're on sorta kinda in a roundabout way one base all the SCVs in here will be killed if this is killed if this burns down in the sky he's trying to land it it's not gonna happen in time and those SCVs burned a died in a very fiery death I don't think you guys can come back from this one that's just me I mean usually usually you somehow come back you somehow win it but this this is not looking too good building an engineering bay right here and trying to defend one base and now everything will be seen. So, I don't know. Unless they just straight up forget about the Protoss player. Because he did leave the game, so they must not be thinking too much about him. And there goes the Terran's base. <coughs> and here come the Void Rays on the Protoss's base. That will be that. Command Center over here, I don't know what that's doing. Elvor has been taken out of the game entirely, and this base will be gone very quickly. The units on the field, nothing for purple. One SCV, he's over here. He is an SCV with nine health, building Command Center that does finish up. But that tower has been taken, so they do see this Command Center flying away now. They did leave a single assimilator over here, and another Nets is going down. They're just messing around at that point. I don't see... Don't see what's happening. You guys failed me. I thought you guys should deal with it. Oh god, no. Don't. 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 Don't say it works. If it works, I'm gonna be done. Okay, Rave, Rave gets it. Rave knows. Okay. I'm very, very worried. Are these Void Rays set to kill? It looks like everything is just migrating its way over to this lone assimilator. And a pylon. I, I don't see... Yes, here come the Void Rays. It is being targeted by multiple people. And... That's going to be game. Right? Okay. Okay, you, you worried me for a second there. I really thought that you were going to win with the... with the false leaving, which somehow won you guys a game in the past, but there is a giant... a giant victory icon that just comes across the screen, so I don't see why people fall for that still. But... 
I mean, you guys had a completely legit strat. It was your Protoss that held you down entirely. And, and that is a lot of Void Rays. We do have 27 for one and 21 for the other. A total of 48 Void Rays are on the field. That's almost the most that you can get from one player. That's without any probes and such, though. So that was another game, not going to say good game, not going to say bad game, just another game from our friend Elvar and Desolation and their very upset Protoss that they brought into this without him knowing, so thank you for that replay.